Yo, what's going on everyone? Today is a very great day for Grand Blue as today is the date of the character balance patch. Now all characters that were getting their updates are now in. Today we'll be looking at Esther's Full Limit Break. One thing I want to mention is that I will let you guys pick the next character that I review. Uh, leave in the comments what character you want to be reviewed and I will do that character. Whatever character is most popular in the comments of this video will be the next character that I review. So you guys have the power and um, all characters are on the table. I will have access to every character. So just put whatever character you want to get reviewed next. One thing also I want to mention is that today is full mid break Ganja Goja. Uh, so that's also be coming out as well. So keep in mind, I did not forget. I have to slime up to level 100 right now. I only uh, uncapped his um, five star and I record his first fate. So that's going to take a little bit of time. Give me a day, I guess, to get him to level 100. But as I mentioned, we'll be looking at Escher's full limit break. She did get a balance patch. I feel like I will start with her because she's probably the most, <sighs> the character that was the most looked forward to, I guess. I mean, people are most anticipating hers, her rebalance because, you know, she's a full limit break eternal and everybody wants their full limit break eternal that they work so hard to acquire to be the most powerful character in their element. Now, is she the most powerful character in her element? I don't know. I can't say that she is a hundred percent, but this character is real good. I mean, she is a real good character. They give her a lot of good utility, but let's talk about her. We already know what she is. It's Esther. You know, we, it's not the first time we're looking at her, but things that they changed up. So the first thing they changed is her Ogi. Her Ogi now gives the red spider lily effect. It used to be blind. But now it's Red Spider Lily. Red Spider Lily being a blind and a burn in one skill. So that's very good. That also means that it stacks with blind. So the chance of you getting hit is almost impossible. Provided you get a higher stacked blind. Something like unpredictable in this. You're pretty much never getting hit. So people who are running twigs, man, you better start crying, bro. Cause it's gonna be hard to get hit <laughs> so that's the thing her skill one sees no change the tenth bullet is the exact same skill so that's not something that too important but what is really important is the final order the final order is her skill two. upon the rebalance it gains the onslaught effect onslaught is crazy it allows any break assassin skill or passive to be in effect while this debuff is on the boss that means anything that means bandit tycoons um break uh crack shot applied zetas applied doesn't matter what it is it will be applied and that's ridiculous because some of these break skills are kind of insane few gold one of them a hundred gold moon weapon get all that abilities now mind you 99.9 percent .9 of you don't have that weapon because i don't have it either 100 gold moons a lot to cough up so but do know you gain all the abilities that also makes her final order a anytime assassin whenever you use it because when you use it onslaught will be in effect as well so her skill two is pretty much anytime assassin pretty good skill pretty pretty good skill now, the next skill we have to talk about is Stardust. So they changed up Stardust. Before Stardust was based around how much treasure hunt you had. Now it's based around just nothing. It's just 10 hits of fire damage and it will always give you the 100% TA that she used to get before. And now it gives you 30% bonus damage as well, like before. The only thing you're missing out on is to fire attack up. But to be honest, this is way more convenient to use because you don't have to get her on um, the boss to try to hunt nine to gain that ability. You can use it turn one. So that's very, very good. It still lasts two turns. So she pretty much had 100% TA um, every two turns out of six. Not bad skill. Not a bad skill at all. Um, 
the next skill we'll be looking at is her skill four. Now her skill four doesn't really see any change in terms of abilities. Her skill four is the exact same skill. The only difference now is that it no longer gives fire attack up. But in return for that, you no longer need treasure hunt to have this ability. That means that you can use it any time. This is really good. Before, you could be based around what level treasure hunt you had. Now, you no longer need to have treasure hunt, which is very good. One thing that you do lose, though, is I do feel the multiplier is a little bit lower on it. I don't feel it's nearly as high, so I will mention that. So, it, I guess it's probably because of the fire attack is gone. That's probably why I feel that way. We, we do lose the fire attack on it, so kind of feels bad. Another thing I want to mention that the sharp boost to attack for one hit against a foe and break can be combined with Onslaught's effect to make her skill for any time assassin. So keep that in mind. Not bad skill at all. Her support skill um, is also a gets a rebalance as now it gives boost to all allies critical hit rate against a foe and break. This boost is a hundred percent crit. So keep that in mind. You will always get the critical hit and it does combine with the onslaught effect. So half the time you will always get that bonus. Too bad that the bonus is only 10%, but a hundred percent crit and 10% is still extra damage and you can't complain about free damage. I mean, I, I, I like free damage. I don't know about you, but I like it. So. Overall, Esther's a real powerhouse of a character. I can't definitely say she's the strongest character in fire. Strongest attacker? Yes. Strongest character? It depends on how much you require if you um you like that blind effect. I like it a lot personally. It just doesn't fit my pool currently because I run twigs. I definitely want to swap out my twigs because I can't be running that with her no more. And I she she made a cut. She made a cut into my team, so I am liking this rebalance a lot. But let's get to a fight with her and see how she performs in game. Okay, this is take two. You guys don't know what happened, but I'll give you a little example. Because I'm so used to how Esther used to play, I kind of forgot her new stuff while playing with her because I'm I'm multitasking and talking and stuff. So it didn't really go so well. I end up forgetting that her skill three, I can just turn one now. So, but I remember now. So we're going to end up doing all this cool stuff here. I am definitely not used to it yet. <laughs> that you can just hit all her skills turn one. It's pretty, pretty nutty. I don't recommend hitting Treasure Hunt. It doesn't really do anything anymore. Um, if your Esther is not full limit break, you will have to hit Treasure Hunt. But for non full limit break, for full limit break, you don't have to hit it no more. Also, I put I took Bandit Tycon or Tycoon. My fault because. I want to showcase White Smoke. White Smoke now gives Veil, which is really cool. Now you don't have to play Sage for the only way of getting Veil. So I like that quite a bit. I'm hit this. So you can see here a crack shot. I am able to use it turn one or turn two rather. Diogi turn one because of Onslaught. Really, really good. I like that part a lot. Wrath is going to drop the sun here. Now, you're probably wondering why I picked the easier boss to showcase. It because it's because it's kind of... I didn't want the video to be too long, so I picked the easy one. I will be doing uh, Ultimate Bahamut Run with this team uh, in the future, so look out for that. Probably after I go out, I look at every character, full limit break, I will end up doing that. Shima. You see the damage is pretty good. Um, the problem with this pull is it still relies on crit. As you can tell, I'm not taking much damage, so I'm definitely gonna drop twigs. 
Huh. And like, I feel like I can't run twigs anymore. I feel it's bad, man. With this team, at least. So. I may go back to Kane's, I guess. At least for the time being. Twigs is too hard for me to run consistently. Like, it requires a lot of stuff to happen. And boss interactions and stuff. I don't really like the grid much. Probably because I ran it for so long that I feel kind of like... I get burnt out of the grid, I guess. But I do plan on changing it out. That Ogi was pretty sad. <laughs> you see the damage drop is real. Feels bad, man. After this, though, I should, I should get a good boost in damage. Because that's quite a bit. Wow, I did a lot more than I thought. <laughs> that did a lot more than I thought. This is going to be a lot of damage this turn. I don't think we're going to hit turn 10, to be honest, at this rate. We'll see, though. Yeah. It's a lot. Oh, we got lucky there. Back up already. Uh, I hit again. So you can see that I, I do have 100% crit thanks to her passive. So you'll definitely always see crit whenever that's up. I'm going to heal because I don't want to die. <laughs> I prefer not to die if I can. So you can see that Onslaught is already out, so I won't be able to use her skill normally with the Break Assassin part. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take what two turns to Break Assassin. Actually, did not mean to do that, but it did end up happening that way. One turn, no two turns, yeah. Two turns. So we're using her break stats in turn one. You gotta keep that in mind that um, it doesn't line up 100% all the way. Cause right now you have you have to wait a turn when using it. Cause it's gone now. The boss should stay alive, I think. Maybe, hopefully. Okay. So you, you can see that I use final order. Um, it doesn't really matter. What we're, what we're really going for is the skill four. Everyone gets the buff, and it's just, you know, I do feel that the the multiplier is a little bit lower though. Normally you would cap that. I don't think I had to fit down cap at the moment because the raid was kind of lost and I had to refresh the debuffs, but regardless, you should normally cap that. So I, I think they lowered the multiplier on it. I'm not certain, but just looking at it, it feels a little bit lower. I only hit about 800, so. They may have lowered the multiplier on that. I'm not sure though. No one had mentioned it as of yet, so. May have to be a little bit of testing on that, but that's Esther's full limit break. I know um, I didn't get to use her skill for perfectly. Somebody gonna write it down, but you know, most people are probably gonna end up using her skill one turn one, and they're gonna end up having that happen. So just wanna showcase that. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.